Time to go to some places you've only read about or seen online. Let's talk about when a trip to Brown Town. Hey everyone, this is David Stark from Watcher Pass. Today I'm talking about when a trip to Brown Town, which is a new indie raunchy comedy coming to digital on on demand on March 22nd, 2022. It involves a bet between Frank and Laura, who've been married for 21 years on their 21st anniversary. Uh, he says that he's going to drop 50 pounds and his wife agrees that that will let, allow him to have a unique sexual encounter. And so Frank embarks on this mission to try to lose 50 pounds in three months and also is dealing with some stress of his career and his family and writing. And there's a lot more going on than just this overall bet and the many, many anal sex references that are in this film. So my hot take on this is I think you should rent it. It is an irreverent, raunchy comedy that has some, some really good humor, some hit or miss humor, but it has, it has some very funny moments. But also what I liked most is it has actually some pretty good emotional depth, some good uh, drama involving life and family and work and relationships, things that I wasn't expecting given the kind of irreverent overall feel of this movie. So I think you should ultimately rent it, but it is something that is unique and something that you probably won't see in many other places. Uh, so I'll tell you a little bit more about the film. A few things I liked, a few things I didn't like. Uh, there, I will not spoil a ton, but there will be some spoilers. But I'm going to try to keep the spoilers minimal just so you can go in and not know what's going to happen. Uh, so the first thing I really liked about this film is the bright style. So this film is a comedy. It has like a very bright color palette, but it also just feels kind of like a nice breath of fresh air. Um, the, the characters are all kind of fun and... Uh, perfect i guess everything feels very idyllic in this this scenario even though it does eventually go into like some other drama the overall the film has this very kind of nice sunny bright style that makes for a good palette for this type of a humor it does kind of fit perfectly when you've got this look of a movie and then some of the subjects that they're dealing with the second thing I liked is the humor. Like I said, there's a lot of very funny aspects in this movie. There's a lot of puns. There's a lot of uh, sexual references. There's a lot of references to anal sex. Uh, they, they hit or miss, but they do often hit. And they're they are very funny. Like some of the characters, how they approach this subject matter it is fun to see. Some of the different reactions. And also, it's also fun to see some of the other characters. So uh, Frank and Laura, they are fairly... Um, mundane, I guess, in their sex life. They, they are not... They, part of the idea in this bet is that they haven't really explored much and so laura is understandably a little anxious about whether she will actually have to fulfill this bet but she luckily has a sister and some friends who help her along the process and seeing that interplay when she is kind of learning about this other world that she's never explored is is fun to see and on the flip side uh frank has a very good friend uh cameron who is encouraging him along and it's fun to see like cameron really try to push Frank, really try to make sure he hits his 50 pounds so then he can he can win the bet and, and get what he is hoping for. Uh, the third thing I really liked is the heart and the emotional depth. I was not expecting that from this movie. I expected it to just be kind of like a silly, raunchy comedy. Maybe there'd be some, you know, funny moments. But it does actually deal with more drama than I was expecting. Uh, and I think that's because this feels like a very personal film. You know, George A. Tramontinos is very clear at the start that this film is not based on any true facts. But this does feel like this film deals with some issues that you could have as a married person who is having a career and a family and trying to go through success and life and marriage and love and, and what your life ends up being versus what you're you know, expecting it to be. All of that is in this film. And it's, it's, it's dealt with it a lot more care than I was expecting. I mean, I expected, uh, I, didn't, I didn't expect it to be in there, but then the fact that it's in there and it's actually kind of, explored and addressed carefully. I really like that. Maybe I'm just at that point in my life where that kind of stuff resonates with me more, but I really did appreciate how this film explored those subjects in the greater context of this irreverent comedy. And the last thing I really loved is, I'll call it the effort. Like this definitely feels like an indie film and an indie film in a labor of love. I mean, George A. Tremontino, he dropped 50 pounds for this movie. Like his character in the film is supposed to lose 50 pounds. He worked out and dropped that weight over the course of this film. Um, you know, he, he mentioned that they were filming it. They filmed it in three months. He dropped that weight in three months. Like he definitely put his heart, sweat, and tears into this movie. Um, his kids are some of the characters. Like you can definitely feel like this is a, a labor of love for all involved. And it kind of shines through in a lot of the film the interactions and kind of how uh, much fun everyone has. You can definitely feel like this is 
a movie that everyone kind of got behind. Now, now things I didn't like, and none of these are, are that bad, but they, they were things that kind of affected my enjoyment of the film. The first is the hit or miss humor. I mean, like I said, there's a lot to like about this movie. There's a lot of funny aspects. Sometimes some of the references, some of the puns just didn't, didn't hit with me. And look, maybe it's just me. Maybe, maybe I'm also at that stage in my life where some of those puns just didn't make me laugh that much. But there's some miss humor. Look, you're going to have that in any irreverent comedy, so it's not a big knock. It just, I was expecting it to be like laughing the entire time. And there were some th scenes that happened, some sequences that I, was, I didn't really laugh as much. The second thing I didn't love is there was some off delivery. I mean, some of the lines didn't come off as genuine, uh, come off, came off as a kind of scripted. And in a irreverent comedy like this, everything has to be flowing very well. And sometimes some of those lines would mess with the flow. And that might also explain why some of the humor didn't hit with me. Again, it's not that big of a deal. You, you see that sometimes in indie filmmaking anyways. And so it, it wasn't a big deal, but it was something that, you know, kind of affected my overall enjoyment. And the last thing I didn't really love is some of the story aspects felt a little unnecessary, but, and this was mostly involving, uh, I guess, the kids' conflicts in this film. Each of the kids had a specific issue that they were dealing with. Um, and they did feel like they were drawn from, from personal, real life examples potentially uh but each of the kids had this thing that they were dealing with and through the course of the film some of that was explored but it, it almost felt like a distraction like it felt like those things they were just in there to add some extra drama that wasn't necessary i feel like the core conflict in this movie was fine you didn't necessarily have to have each kid worried about something else because that just didn't i felt like they were they were put in there, but they weren't explored enough to really be meaningful. They were just kind of there to distract occasionally. So again, not a big deal. And like I said, I think this film is, is fun. It's definitely something you should check out, uh, you know, rent it, see it, see it at home, see it in the comfort of your own home. Uh, you'll get some laughs, you'll get some, some emotion, and you might learn a thing or two sexually. So that is When a Trip to Brown Town. It is coming to digital and on demand on March 22nd, 2022. And thank you so much for watching. If you liked this review, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me a lot. Make sure all my new content goes straight to you. Please check out my other content. I've got other reviews. I've got an interview with George A. Tramontinos, the uh, writer, director, star, producer, financier of this movie. Like this is definitely a labor of love uh, on his part. You can, you can check that out on my YouTube channel as well. I've also got unboxing videos and recommendations. Thank you. Thank you.